to code a dribble design. So in this series, we are taking a design that someone, um, specifically Philippe Justic for Balkan Brothers in The Hub, and I will definitely link to this below. I found it on Dribble, really liked it, uh, very fresh, great, slick design. So what we're gonna do is we are gonna take this design just as though uh, we were given this by a designer and we are the developers. So we're gonna use HTML and CSS, very uh, CSS heavy, and um, also Bootstrap for the grid system uh, to code this up. Okay, should be fun. Um, yeah, let's jump into it, great. So like I said in my introduction, um, in this first episode, uh, or in this series, I guess, we're gonna be coding up uh, this website that I found on Dribbble. Um, it's by Philippe Justic, and I will put this uh, link, uh, yes, the Hub Website Exploration. I'm gonna put that in the show notes um, so you can all follow along. Um, I really like this design. Basically what I did is I searched website design on Dribbble. I'll also put a link to Dribbble. It's a great resource. Um, a lot of people post their stuff. Um, I think it's really great to, uh, this is a great way to further develop coding, especially if you're not a designer, to find somebody else's design that you really like. Say you really like this and you wanna learn something interactive, you know, like, wow, you know, it's going through exactly what this website's doing. Kind of intense stuff. I don't think I'm at this level yet. But if you feel like you're ready to tackle something like this, I uh, just getting inspiration from this website or even like kind of treating it like the real world, right? So say you are a developer, um, a front end developer, and you're given this mock up, make it a reality, right? So I really like this. I think it's very clean. Um, I like the coloring. I like the imagery. Uh, what we're going to try to do in this series is we're going to use HTML, CSS, and Bootstrap um, Grid. And we're going to try to make it also a responsive website. So we'll have a mobile. So maybe, yeah, I think this menu will make it a hamburger. Let's zoom in. Yeah, cool. Okay. So we'll make this menu a hamburger. Maybe we'll make um, our guy kind of go underneath the title. We'll have some media queries. So we're not going to really link up this um, search bar. Uh, that's not what's going to happen in the series, maybe later on, but I don't think so because we're not actually developing more pages. We're just doing this home page and then we'll make a, we'll make a footer that's also responsive. And so we'll probably give this like a Z index to float on top. We'll, we'll talk further, but yeah, I just wanted to kind of uh, share that with you. Uh, just like an overview of what we're going to do and what you can look forward to. So basically what I did is I uh, got this on my desktop and let me try to find that. Um, so I took this, right, this is what we're looking at, um, just screenshotted it, and then I got this dude, and I wanted to see actually if I could find him. So I reverse Google searched, imaged that image, um, and it actually came up as user interface design, which is interesting, but it gave me a bunch of guys and ladies. Um, that's kind of a cool website. And so I actually liked the first guy. I thought uh, this website, right, it's find the most exciting startup jobs, you know, find jobs, browse startups, uh, for startups, sign in. Uh, in the future, actually, that'd be great. Um, I do know how to make a sign in and a Google auth uh, feature. So I think it, using React, actually, uh, it's kind of a side tangent, but that's something definitely can look forward to down the line. So anyway, I liked him. Uh, couldn't find him, but found this guy. He looks excited for startups. So then I clicked in. I got to this website, pngguru.com. So I'll also put a link to this. Um, actually, yeah, so I don't need to put a link to this because basically, and I'll jump in in a second, um, I mocked up what he's gonna look like with this little pattern behind him, um, our guy. So first I did it just in a blue background to see how it would look, and then we have our final PNG with the background, it's transparent. So what we're gonna do is we're actually going to make this a background, right? And he's gonna be an image on top, like a background color of this blue. We'll find what shade that is, the hex number, and then we'll put him on top right there. So he'll just be an image, so it'll be much easier to make a responsive page. Um, and then I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a folder in my um, Claire Codes email account um, in the Google Drive, and then I'll share that link also in the show notes. So you'll have um, 
all of these assets at your disposal. All right, uh, I think we're gonna start tackling how we're gonna break down building this website. Illustrator from the Adobe Creative Suite open. And as you can see, this is how I made that PNG. Uh, I took the guy and some, there's a little bit of stuff over here, so I actually uh, cropped him in a little bit. And then I made kind of this background, kind of replicated it a little bit. Um, I, I like the design of it. Uh, yeah, and then I also was experimenting with different typefaces. So I found this free Google font, which works well on the web, called Work Sans. Um, tweaked it a little bit, and I, I like, I think that's pretty dang close. Um, obviously this is maybe a little, uh, like thinner, um, of a width than a work sans, but I think it works. Okay. So let's, let's start breaking this down. Let's zoom in a little. Okay, cool. I'll just lock that in. All right. So let's see. So first off this all right here and let's go like that. Let's get it yellow so we can like see what's going on. All right, so this all has a background color. So this all, it's, the whole page is going to be in a container, and then this should be its own div. And then on top of that background color, we have our nav bar. And so we're going to use Bootstrap to help us with our nav bar, because also that makes it a lot easier to make a responsive nav bar using Bootstrap, where when we get to a mobile width or maybe even an iPad width, it turns into a hamburger or a... Um, what is the other word? Eh, it expands. Anyway, yeah, it'll expand down. I just called it a hamburger, an accordion menu. That's also what you call it. So we're gonna want um, our icon, which our logo, let's see, which I also created, as you can see. So this will be a file that'll be available also in the drive. <clears throat> I have it here. So it's, it's pretty dang close, I think. And then, um, we want, so we have our navigation. So this is all going to float to the left. This is going to be on the right side. Okay, great. And then we're going to want using bootstrap to have one div over here that controls that. And then another div, and this will all be in the same row that controls this image. And then this will float underneath. And I'm sure we'll have some sort of media query that will bring this up and this down, or maybe even we'll make this invisible on mobile. We'll see how it looks. And then on top of all of this, we have the search bar, right? And it looks like it has a box shadow. And so this will be, I have a Z index so that'll actually be on top of everything. We'll have to control its location on the page. And then we'll have a footer. So not the most complicated websites, but I think We'll have fun doing the CSS and bootstrap to create this. Cool. So let's dive in. So now I'm going to create a new folder and I'm going to call it uh, the dash hub. I'm going to take that folder and drag it into Visual Studio Code, which is my code editor of choice. Uh, do that correctly. There we go. Okay. Cool. And we're ready to start. We have the hub. Um, I'll also put a link to Visual Studio Code, and then from here I'm going to click this, and I'm going to create our index.html, and I'm also going to create our style sheet, which we're going to call styles.css. And that's actually the only two files that we need to make this beautiful um, website that, uh, yeah. We're just going to code to start coding up. All right. So let's get to it. Um, another thing we're going to need is um, an image folder. And within this, I think I have, yeah. So we're going to open this up. And you can download these assets from the um, Google Drive uh, folder that I will put in the show notes. So I want my logo and the PNG of the man. It looks so happy about startups. Great. Okay, so let's start this up. I'm just going to do the exclamation point. It's all going to come in. And then in my series one, I actually go over HTML and CSS, a little bit of a tutorial. If you're not familiar, um, we're not really going to go through basics. I'm just going to start coding and kind of talk through what I'm doing. 
So let's call this the hub. Maybe our title. Great. And is there anything else we need to do here? Yes. We want to link our style sheet. So we're going to do link tag, close that up, and then rel style sheet, and then href dot slash style dot CSS. Cool. And then the next thing we also want is we want our Google font. Bring this into view a little bit. So it's work sans. So I'm going to add it in. And I already know that I want um, bold. I'll get regular. Regular is always good to have. And I'll get light. Okay. So you can see load time is moderate. So it does um, weigh down your website more. I haven't noticed um, getting like, you know, three different weights. But if you kind of, if you don't need all the weights, don't embed them all. Okay, so let me get this link tag. Open this up again. And I'm going to put it lower style sheet. Save that. And then I'm actually going to take the font family. Just so I have it because I know everything, you know, in here, regardless of whether it's the regular weight or, you know, bold, it's all work sans. So I'm just going to go to the body, make everything work sans. Great. It's another thing. Um, I'm just going to grab Bootstrap. So let's go to HTML. Oops. Bootstrap. I think I have it here. Get bootstrap. Cool. Um, I can download it and just click get started. And it gives me, I put this um, for all my style sheets, which makes sense because it reads um, from the bottom up. So if I put this before, I can override it with this style sheet. Uh, yeah, it doesn't matter. I guess I definitely want to put the Google font um, below it, but it doesn't matter if it's, I think. Yeah, above or below my main style sheet. Okay, so that's the first part of getting started. The next thing is I want to put this right before the, the closing body tag. So I'll copy that. Put it here. Yeah, tap in and place all of my JavaScript. JavaScript. Um, files having to do with Bootstrap. Okay, great. Um, that's that. Cool. Still not quite used to working with it. This zoomed in, so I'm like, wait, there's a lot going on there. Okay, cool. And that's all we need to do with that. So let's get started. So we're in our body. Let's initiate with the div container. So there's a class. And then within this div, we know we want this um, blue background div and then our footer div. So let's call them, you know what? Let's call this the header. I'm going to give the header a class of background div. So I know what's going on there. And then let's make our footer. To know that we have those two components going on here because we did you know divide this up in the a little earlier and then we want our navigation so let's get that in and I'm not quite sure exactly how we're gonna do this just because it does happen on both sides probably still gonna have an unordered list and LIs and then separate them using bootstrap so we'll look into how we're gonna do that and then within, after the nav, we have this next container. And let's call this um, class. Header info. And then within here, we're going to have kind of rudimentary, which is getting the scaffolding. We're going to have a row. We're going to have a column. 
And I already know we're using Bootstrap, so this is going to be a call. And let's make it a medium 6, because we're dividing it 12 by 2, so that we can break it to our two parts, right? Because we have this part and this part. Okay, so then within the left part, I know where we want, definitely want um, H1. I'm actually going to put this within another div. I'm going to give it class title because I'm sure I'm going to want to apply some margin. It's not right against the top or anything. And then let's do an H1. And let's go back to Illustrator because I actually put this out. I think I moved <coughs> one of my files to another folder. Copy that. So that's fine. Most exciting startup jobs. I want the most exciting startup job. <coughs> okay, great. And then we also know that we have our image on the other side. And that takes up a lot of space, so that's going to be interesting to style. Okay. All right, so we have the find the most um, interesting startup jobs. And then below that, we kind of have like a subtitle, I call it. So I'm going to give this the class subtitle. Um, we'll figure that out later. This might be always doubling. Okay. Put it down for a second. So I'm going to type text. Okay, so here. Okay, cool. <coughs> and then below subtitle text goes here. Uh, yeah, I think that's, that's pretty good. For this left side, let's move on to the right side. And we pretty much we're just gonna put our image. So let's drop that in there. Image, and let's give this. I don't know. I, I'll, I'll put everything in divs. Just to be sure. Class name image. We don't have any other images on this page, but let's just call it that. And image, and let's link it up. As you see, let's go in the image folder, and we want the main image. Alt. Man. Okay. And this here. Yeah. That all looks good. Um. So it really isn't going to be much to look at now. So let's move on to doing some research about navigations. Crop open once again, and I'm going to go into content. No, yeah, components. Pretty sure. Yes, and I'm going to go to navbar. And let's see if we can find a navbar that's kind of similar. Um, it's interesting. Because I'm trying to figure out, because this actually goes on the right. So if we go to the search, form in line. Okay, that kind of makes sense. I think that there's just I'm trying to figure out. Okay, that's all to the left. Great. Cool. Form controls, it's doing that. Okay. Then within the nav, still span. I definitely like the idea of it being sticky at the top or fixed. I think I want to look into research um, to have it so that uh, at this with, or at this, um, when you're like here, but maybe when you scroll down, because I don't think this will all fit. Well, it depends on like how big you're, you know, you're viewing. Basically like, you know, when I make the page like that or like that. 
Um, it'd be cool if it like it was fixed to the top. So just like this is fixed to the top. As you can see as I scroll, you still see um, the whole nav bar. Uh, if it was fixed, but then maybe like it became white with a little bit of a drop shadow. And we'll, we'll get into that. <laughs> it's definitely for later on. Right, I like the idea of span. Okay, so let's grab navbar, expand to large. Okay, so this is all in a nav class. Mm -hmm. We definitely don't need all this because we don't want to drop down. Keep your bearing with me. I do like this. So you definitely have a brand, which is, you know, we're going to have a logo. Just make it an image. Okay, so this is our nav. Great. So I just copy it and paste it in. And basically, I grabbed this one, like the gray one, from um, Get Bootstrap and the components in that bar. Okay. So. This is in the header background div, and then I have navbar, navbar expand large, navbar light, BG light. Cool. Okay. And actually, the light is what's giving it this background color, so we don't need that. So I'm going to take out that and just leave it expand large. And we have our brand, which is the home, and we're on the home. Um, Definitely want the button toggler to stay there because that's what's going to make it responsive. And it's going to collapse. Navbar, cool. Span class. This is what um, creates the toggler. Collapse navbar. Okay. So then let's open it up again. So as you can see, home is active there. So that's what's making it dark. We don't need that to be active. Definitely want a link, and let's look back at here. So first, it's find jobs. So nav link. Um, find jobs. Don't need this span. And as you can see, so it's in the UL navbar, then um, navbar dash nav. It's the class on the UL. And then um, the LI item is called nav item. Then within that, we have a nav link, which is our A. And then our next LI is also a nav item. And this nav link, and let's see what we call it, browse startups. Save that. OK, and then we have stuff on the right. So when they did things going to the right, um, maybe I'll, I'll do some, some Googling on this, but they actually broke it out of the URL. So that's very interesting. But it's still within the nav, if that makes sense to me. I might actually make another UL list. See what happens with that. It's still within the div. And the div is the map of class. Okay. Let's give that a try. UL and we have our two LIs. We don't need this last one. It's disabled. Back. Does that make it so out of whack? Okay. And on this side, we have four startups and sign in. Yeah, cool. 
I'm very curious to see what this looks like. So let's find the GitHub. Okay, I'm going to grab the index, drag it in to Chrome. Okay. It's like that. Oh, and because interesting, so that's in one of my points. Because I did not give the UL the class navbar net. So now it's all next to each other, but I know that this is separate. So I'm going to call it right nav, and we'll, we'll um, add some styling. Okay. So right now, it's doing what this one does. I don't know where it went. At. So it is there. It's just, and as you can see, that's great. That's just what we want to happen with this view. Like that, it's going to close up, but we cannot see it. Um, it's gray here, but I'm wondering why that has a gray. You know what? Let's see. I'm going to add that back to our nav. Refresh here. And we get that. And then, so I'm just trying to figure out what each of these. I, I know this, I'm pretty sure, is controlling that. I wonder. No, it's wrong. Okay. okay, we have our nav bar back. Looks good. Great. And we have that. And our image is there. Um, cool. I think I'll leave that here for this section. Um, <laughs> we have a good start. We have a very smiley guy. I already want, you know. You have me sold. I want to be him. I want to find my exciting startup job. Okay, so in the next um, video, we'll continue working on the CSS and uh, get our footer in there. Um, obviously, put our logo and just keep going with this project. See you there. Bye.